Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Casual Gamers Online, Ashley here and today we're going to cover in this video how much game coins or meso you can earn in Maple R Evolution. Okay, this is very important because the game progress, especially on the skills, need a lot, a lot of meso, okay, practically hundreds of thousands of meso per skill upgrade or whatnot. So today I'm going to show you how we're going to get and maximize the gain from the meso in the game every day okay if you can't remember whatever i say in this game because there's so many ways to get it simply head on to this top left of the game uh profile here okay this icon you just simply click into it go to the coin and then when you go to the coin there's actually rating coin experience rate diamond this is how you know where you can get all this in order to help your game character progress in the game so for the coin wise the first one you can look at the dimensional exploration simply go to the dimensional exploration sorry if you afk and never play for many hours like 10 to 12 hours you will be able to gain this thing or maybe when you do your story progress you should be able to gain this thing called dream uh, dream potion or something like that which you can use for the dimensional trail exploration you need twenty five thousand in order to exploit this is one of the way that you gain the most per day from here so what you're gonna do is you click on explore okay then you can see that you have actually three options okay you can have three options you can choose the meso here which is 180k permission it depends on the level that you are at and whatnot this actually had a difference from 120k uh, to 180k so for 180k exploration is super simple you need you need to collect the item like for example here you need strength 11 and the lucky flower five so in order to get this reward so along the way you're going to do a, a few mini quests talk to a few npc and also you have all these floating around so do it slowly make sure you collect all these because this will actually increase your stuff here so you gain a lot of coins from here as you can see it's about five hundred thousand of coins and then all the resources that you can get so of course completing all these you can be able to get like ten thousand five thousand coins Okay, so that's the first one the dimension trial let's hold on to the second one quick purchase this is definitely a muscle like why i say if you forget about what this whole entire video says about simply go into this tab and then go to quick purchase you can buy three times of this okay so it's like 30 000, 50 000, and 80 000. And then for your, it depends on your level. The next one that you can buy is with this red crystal, so red diamond. So make sure you always have 60 red diamonds standby because this really help your game to progress a lot. And I can buy five times because of my uh, metal level. If you, you can't buy five times, you can at least buy three times from the start of the game all the way. So the higher metal level that you have, the more you can buy. So I can buy five times, one times 160,000 to three. So all together there's 480,000 uh game coins and then for me i can buy extra two times so i'm not going to calculate this two times because i'm different from all uh i have a higher things so i got about six million meso now six million coins now so let's go on to the third one so the third one will be the welcome home guest okay this really depends on the things so oh, i'm going to really receive all these first these are all the guests that you have in the house okay they're gonna visit you so i got no idea how much it's going to be uh for now so you guys can check it out but i don't think it's really a lot but at least can check it out uh this can really gain a lot of red diamonds for this so let's go on to the next one okay the adventure training field so depending on which level for example at level one it will be at thirty-two thousand coin level two forty-eight thousand three is at 64,000 and now currently I'm level four so that's 80,000 so if you complete this uh, adventure training field other than the 120,000 experience you're going to get 80,000 game coins so that's quite a lot for a day and you can enter two times so you have two times entrance that will be 160,000 coins okay let's hop on to the next one the next one will be adventure training field is over adventure journey okay so for adventure journey because it's it depends on how much you can clear on the map okay so if you clear your map from chapter one you can see you can gain four thousand coins per chapter per instance that you clear so every chapter has about five 
instances one two three four five six six so for chapter two there will be one two three four five six seven eight nine so you can see this is like four thousand two hundred okay you can have nine here thirty six thousand then chapter three four thousand four one two three four five six seven eight so different chapters are different so you can gain at least thirty thousand to fifty thousand or seventy thousand depending on which chapter you are at currently i'm at chapter 17 17 is about seven thousand eight hundred per instance so if you have like eight okay or seven you at least get fifty over thousand to sixty thousand going game coin from here so i'm not going to include that guys just keep on clearing your adventure journey here so this is one way to gain your coins I'm going to talk about the fixed amount that you're going to get daily uh, regardless of the adventure journey or whatnot. So the land of chaos. So if you go to the land of chaos, this instance reset every two days. So the two days depend on the difficulty. There's difficulty one, two and three. And now at difficulty three, difficulty three for me, I get 14,000 coins per level clear. And then 14,000 coins level two all the way until level eight. It becomes 19,000. And 19,000 all the way until the last the last level level 15 is at 19,000 and level 16 is at 24,000 so all together you need to clear you need to clear the difficulty from level 1 to 60 if you are able to clear at difficulty 3 okay you're going to get at least 274 coins game coins here so this is 274 game coins per every two days so every two days, every one day, you get about 137k in coins if you divide it by it. So make sure you clear this uh, to level 16 every two days. So this is one of the way. And let's head on to the next one. The next one will be the Mojo, uh, the Mo Mulong Dojo. Okay, the Mulong Dojo also depends. Now I'm at level 94. One clearance will give me 70.2k. And why I have so much game coins is because yesterday I cleared from level 48 after my third job as an archer advancement from level 48 I clear all the way to level 93 so basically one level gives me almost like 50,000 to 70,000 game coins which is kind of insane because 10 level it will be 500,000 so I clear about 40 levels that is like 2 million game coins that I have that's how I earn all my game coins and including the magic crystals from Mulong Dojo so guys, this is like inconsistent. It depending on how strong you are, you're able to clear every day uh, per level. You're going to get extra game coins from here. So this is one of the way you get game coins as well. And then let's talk about the guild. A like garden guild pack is very different because from the garden guild pack, there's a lot of different quests here and they give do give away mess. So if you go sign in, okay, and then depending on your luck. So let's try this. Okay, I get a UR. You get 10 coins. If you're lucky enough, you can get a 5,000 coins from here. And if you complete all the things here, you can get extra like all this and that from the guild. So make sure you guys join a, a guild. Okay, and let me see if I'm lucky enough. Oh, another UR. Okay, this is good. You need 120 of these in order to fuse a pet. So this is one way. And then let's take a look at the next one. The next one, which is the last one, is Quick Battle. Okay, Quick Battle simply works at as AFK. So like what I say, the first thing that if today you AFK uh, in the game for like 12 hours of AFK, 10 hours to 12 hours of AFK, you get about 50,000 50, to 58,000 coin on based on my level now. It's like 50 to 58,000 game coin for every 10 to 12 hours. So I only can give you a rough gauge for you. If you can see here, 200 minutes, right? uh let's see if two times three times if you do three times three times quick battle okay you can have 600 minutes that's about 10 hours and that it will gain you maybe like another fifty thousand uh game coin i'm going to do it do it and show you guys so you see yeah about fifty thousand game coins so fifty three thousand so you can see here as long as you afk in the game after you complete your dailies you just go AFK. Okay, you can see these guys so this is very important for you guys to gain game, game coins here. So I hope you guys can like this video. And then in total, with all the sum up, that means definitely will get. We exclude the uh we exclude the homeland guest, we exclude the adventure journey, we exclude the Mulong Dojo. Okay, every day you definitely can get at least 2.133 million coins. Okay, from the graph you can see on the left side I tabulated, you can get about 2 million 
game coins per day for my level current at level 117 okay difficulty difficulty 3 on the uh land of chaos so guys i hope you guys can like this video and then stay tuned and subscribe stay tuned for more maple out the next one will dive into the red uh diamonds okay i will see you guys on the next video love y'all bye